might as well, yeah? No one can fight on empty batteries. Hey, we gotta talk. So you wish to utilize this thing of which I meant to dispose. Such daring lunacy. That is what I would dub it. It would be a dreadful waste to throw it away. There's always a use. Always. People, lives, the lot. Why? I stand corrected. Then, what manner of use is it that you have envisioned? The lost numbers. The city ruffians. You do know. No life can be harvested therefrom. Yes, I am aware. That's why I'll have my toy soldiers play a little game. The lives of the fallen will be amassed in this special flame clock. As a reward for the final lass or lad left standing. Oh. The cream of the crop of youth competing for glory. Oh. Is that not simply sublime? Lance, you're a glutton for punishment, ain't ya? Don't tell me you are curious, too. I want to know all their tricks of the trade.
Six ain't many. Six of what now? The Ouroboros candidates. All that training, and six get in. Oh yeah, Monica did say something like that to us. I feel... kinda let down. How so? Just knowing there's a pecking order here too. Makes them the same. Same as us. People aren't equally suited to everything. Such is life. Sure, I guess, but... I'm feeling hungry. You guys want to go grab a bite? I'm in favor. How about the shopping area? I found the tastiest looking torpedo stand. How's that sound? Torpedo wraps, eh? Spark, yes. Lance? Yeah, sure thing. Torpedo wrap, eh? This has me curious. The shop that sells them should be just across the bridge. Hey, you! What are you doing back here? How many times have I told you, no performing out here? You shouldn't be wasting your time like this. Don't you have training? I'm not wasting my time. This is my job here. You call that a job? Hey, you're Ura Boris, right? I've heard. I suppose my job doesn't really compare to yours, I'll admit. Why are they on your case? Street performance. It's not allowed on this road. Street performance? This stuff. Around this spot, this is where you get the best crowds. <laughs> but still, they like to push me around. We're at war here. Why aren't you fighting, they say. Do you not need to be fighting? The city's army is just for volunteers. There's plenty who are willing. Why is that? Because it gets you others' approval. Hmm. Yeah, well, it would, wouldn't it? You think so? 
You don't? Well, who decides what has merit? And whoever's making the rules, how do we know they're right? Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I don't really know anything. It's just... Uh-huh. I think... Isn't it fine if there's, like, one guy who makes the call for himself? You know? Even if it ends up being pointless. Hey, even pointless things can have a point. Down the line. <sighs> I want to live my way. Take it one step at a time, the way I want. Really live. Oh, rats! Better scarper before the guards find me again. Hey! Tell you what, I've got a new trick, just in the works. You should come and watch. Bye. <sighs> you okay there? Can I help out? Nah. I'm all good. Lance! This alarm's worrying. Head for the war room. Right. On it. We never got to eat any torpedo wraps. Sorry, but the war room should be our top priority right now. Now we just hang about. <sighs> A cradle transport for the colonies? Yes. The report is calling it large scale. And you want to liberate it? Like you did that last batch? Right, well... That explains the emergency assembly. When? Where? By our estimate, tomorrow, late night. Podesto Valley floor, at the Great Sword's base. Boss, the logistics guys wanted an overnight camping kind of deal. Approved. Sort out the planning. Just what I thought you'd say, so I took initiative. We can leave any time. What do you think? Should we lend them a hand with it? Yeah, gladly. If Monica's okay with it. It's up to you. But if things don't go to plan, there might be a fight. We're prepared for that. Hmm. Then be my guest. Take this chance to show my soldiers that Ouroboros spark. It'll be an illuminating experience for them, fighting or not. All right. We'll drill them well. <laughs>
Things used to be easier, huh? What was? All we had to do was bash heads. No thinking, no nothing. What about the dying part? You weren't scared? Sure, I was scared. But at least I knew what was expected of me. Wait a sec. You want to go back to that? Obviously not. Just saying how I feel. There's just too much snuff to consider nowadays. It's doing my nut in. I think you should try it sometime. This thinking thing might not be so bad. Stop making it sound like I don't. You just said it yourself. No thinking, no nothing. I was talking about before, you spoon. Sorry? Who are you calling a spoon? Oh, shut up! If you're gonna act like a spoon, of course I'm gonna call you one. Uh, it takes one to know one. What? Let's just chill out here, you guys. Okay, then why don't you tell me where we are now? What's this region? Come on, spill. Uh, it's, uh... See? You can't tell your ass from your elbow. Doesn't that make you the spoon? Just because I slept through that class, if I've been awake for it, right. then... Things were easier. Then stay awake, you spoon! Yeah. We had everything handed to us. Back then. That's not quite true in your case, though, is it? What? You had thoughts. And deep ones at that. I can tell. When we're playing together. But you have, as well. I hope... we find an answer. Absolutely. We'll find it. I'm sure. The Podesto Valley floor is ahead. The camp's a stone's throw from the Great Sword. <laughs> Hey guys! Hmm? It's an honor. I mean, this chance to do an op with you guys. What do you mean? You're my heroes. Uroboros. I mean, I always knew a grunt like me could never measure up. Although, we all still dreamed of it. And now you're here in the flesh. Doesn't seem real. What's so great about us? Huh? Before this op's done, we might have to kill old friends. How about it? Could you do it? Stab a friend? Lance! I... I mean, that's... If you're here with some half-assed notions, go home. I... I... I'm sorry. I just got excited. They talk big, but... When shit hits the fan, they might just double-cross us. You watch. <laughs> you saying you can't trust us with the job? Hundred percent. He never trained with our unit before, never ever fought by our side. The way I see it, he's just some arse wipes who stole away what was rightfully ours. <sighs> oh yeah? If I let you down, shoot me. In the front or back, I don't care. Gee, thanks. Well, that's awful big of you, pal. Hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe we shouldn't have come. No, this is good. It's how you build trust. You can only begin once you've gotten everything out in the open. Really? One of my dad's favorite lines. Wasn't it the same for you lot?
Yeah. You might be right on the mark. I'm sure they'll settle down when they need to. They've got good role models today. It's a rare sight. Something so valuable here. Intel was right. There's quite a few of them. But it's too quiet. There's barely any signs of life. They're probably all conked out. The fewer sentries, the better for us. Monica, the cradles are in that transport. Yes, it's likely. Let's head down. If we go round from the right, we can approach unseen. Roger that. What is this? They're all empty! <sighs> Monica! There's nothing in here! They're all empty! Son of a... Report! Same over here! We got cradles, but nothing in them! <sighs> Monica? Did we... Did we just fall for a trap? They've got us surrounded! Cavessi troops! Well, doesn't it suck to be you? Every little step you made turned out exactly as planned. Now us, we're an elite unit, the all-stars of Keves. You lot have been doing as you please for long enough. Right here, right now, we're gonna correct that little mistake. Garf! Oh! So you've actually heard of me. Guess I gotta give myself more credit than I thought. Layla and who? Sparks. They look like they're in their early terms. That means... They got reborn. That adds up. This lot, soon after they moved to Colony 8, I hear they croaked. <sighs> Don't dare look down on us, Second Turners. We were chosen. We are the elite. Now, I don't know if you're lost numbers or what, but you're in our way, and for that, your heads are gonna roll!
Finish him off already. I need that sweet, sweet life. <sighs> Finish him off. Hurry, run him through. Go on. Kill him dead. That'll give me a good top up, nice and easy. Gotta love this new flame clock the console was kind enough to give us. It's a belter. <sighs> it's a different color. Yeah. That is no ordinary flame clock. Back in my old colony, if some moron slowed you down, there was nothing you could do. Oh, you could kill him, sure. But you wouldn't get any life from it. But around here, that's all changed. Here, life is the privilege of the strong. The final survivor gets to take the whole snuffin' cake! Gothel. You get it now, do you? The weaklings need to be taken out of the running, so give me some of that sweet life! I... You mother! You can call yourself the lethal you want, but, but do, do moderate, moderate your expectations. expectations. Uh, You're the same as ever, Garv. Only ever thinking of yourself. How are you, you going to win against, against us like, like that? that? Uh, uh, what the snuff is this? No one told us about these monsters. You are not to hesitate. Man! <laughs> <laughs> Console. I should have known. Guess you can't have a Feronis without a console, eh? My Ouroboros as well. I can't believe my luck. I suppose I ought to have prepared better still. A woman? You like my children? They're an anti-city special unit. One that I have diligently raised and lavished with love myself. It has been back-breaking to educate them so. They'll have to earn much, much more life for me before they're done. I hate failed investments. So you see... I'll take you brats out myself to protect mine! Try me then! Oh, yeah. 
dear, oh dear. It seems your grasp has exceeded your reach. Noah! Cut the flame clock! We gotta release Garth and the others! Yeah! Yeah! This simply is a fail! What just happened? The, the cops off, she... She just disappeared. Lady Consul? Lady Consul! What... What am I supposed to... Drop it, Garv! Your clock's gone! Just stand down! Peace! You don't have to fight anymore. Huh? No more stealing of lives. No more charity from consuls. What are you on about? Get snuff! You're talking out your ass. Don't have to fight. Fighting is all that we know. If we don't have that, then what the snuff are we supposed to do? Tell me! What do we do now? Hey, need some help? Huh? Ah, oh, yeah. Nah. Been through worse. Man, you guys. Stunning. You're so far beyond us. Ah, uh, it's not a big deal. If you were one of us, you'd do just as well. Think they'll be okay, those guys. What's eating you, Lance? Well, I just worry we cut them loose a bit soon. Tell me, what are we gonna do now? How would I know? Huh? You stop stealing lives. You guard them. It's simple. But the how is up to you. Got it? Spark? You can't do this to us! Colony 4. Know it? Yeah. I've heard about it. On your map, middle of the Faunus region. The Lieutenant there, Boliaris. You can tell him we sent you. Try him. Helps to have a mentor, starting out. You gave them the info. Now they got a choice. Some might take it hard, though. Besides, when we cut through the flame clock, it was to protect the city detachment, too. There was little else we could do. If we'd meddled even more, it might have come right back round to bite us in the bum. We did the right thing by telling them about Colony 4. I think that was the best course of action. <sighs> Everything they believed came crashing down just like that. They'll be confused for a while, sure. But they'll figure it out. Just the same as you lot did. We might have gotten off lightly. If we hadn't met like we did in that valley, we'd be just as confused as those guys. Luck was on our side. Speaking of... Back then, wasn't it Lance who was the most reluctant of us? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Our big man was just a bit shy to introduce himself in front of new people. Right? Ah, shut up. Oh, yeah, he was. I did kind of get the impression that he was embarrassed to speak up. Right? Eh? Oh, he's just a big teddy bear, really. Same dish as mine. Double Arden meat, deluxe. 
Ah, thanks a bunch. Ah, oh, let's see. No tall spice here, but double veggies. Arden sausage, huh? That sounds good. But then, there's the tall spice sauce as well. Hmm, fluff cream and skeeter syrup dressing. What delight. Oh, there's even chocolate sauce. How can I possibly choose? Still hard to believe, huh? Eating what we want. Huh? But is it enough? I want more. Dude, that's already pretty hefty. You really gonna eat another? Oh, hey! Whoa! He's pretty deep. Or have I got it backwards? Huh? Maybe it has to start with me. Guess it's time to plan the day. just fix this. Always nice to have more friends. I hope everyone's getting along.
You can't always give a hundred percent. Personal hygiene is every soldier's duty. Let's keep things on a tight loop. Can't forget our progress update. 